Hello all of my lovelies, it's Melissa from the Turtle Nail Salon. Thanks for joining me today. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you some Valentine's Day nail ideas. All of the nails that you'll be seeing in here are getting two coats of the shellac color. And these are all the most recent releases of reds that I picked out from my collection. And yes, my obsessive polishing makes a perfect nail. And I'm still very new at stamping, trying to figure out placement, so just bear with me. <laughs> I do tend to like to press really hard with my magnet, or pardon me, with the um, stamper, so I'm learning that still. And then I'm just applying some of the C&D Shellac Pearl Top Coat. It was released quite a few years ago and I just happened to still have it sitting in my desk. So I figured I would jazz this up. The nice thing about stamping over top of shellac because you have that inhibition layer, you do have a little bit more time after you pick up the pattern off your stamping plate because it's always gonna stick to the shellac even if the design dries on your stamper. So a little bit of a hint and tip for you guys. And that's the finished look. And on to the next one. I believe this color is Devil Red. I didn't do a screen capture of each of the bottle names. And the first one in this video is How Merlot. figured I would do something for those people who kind of dislike Valentine's Day. This pattern I actually thought was super cute and some of these stamping images are from Queen stamping plates and some are from MoU London. Then I'm just going to use a cuticle stick just to remove a partial um, heart from that design. I didn't want to leave it on, it just didn't fit the design very well. And this is again what I like about stamping over top of shellac with the inhibition layer. I can remove either mistakes or unwanted parts of the image with a cuticle stick. And then I went and took some of my black C&D additive powder just to add some more black and more design to this nail. And I'm just going to burnish it on on an angle to start with and slowly work my way up and it'll end up turning into an ombre. The only downside to the black additive powder, which I'm sure is with any black pigment powder from any company, it literally gets everywhere and it stains your skin so bad. I actually still have some black on my hand from Saturday and today is a Monday and I have scrubbed my hands, showered every day, washed my hair, like done everything and it's just not all coming off. So it just takes time. So I try to be very careful when I use this particular additive. And then I'm going to put a little bit up top diagonal as well. I was actually very happy with how this design turned out because I was literally flying by the seat of my pants doing all of these designs for you guys. 
and gals. I just realized how dry my hands are. I was using a lot of alcohol when I was doing these swatches with cleaning up and whatnot. So I did have lotion on when I started the video, but we're at the point where there's just really no lotion left and I edited it in a different order than how I filmed, so. And here we go with some top coat. I am using the matte top coat. It, didn't mattify as much as it normally does and I think I just didn't quite put enough on this tip because I do have one other nail that I did matte and it turned out really well. And there's the finished look. This color I also think is Bordeaux Babe. It's from the Cocktail Couture Collection that came out at the end of 2020. And with this one, I did some stamping with the C&D Additive Pave Diamonds. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to take some compressed air once I've got everything patted down and just blow off any of the excess additive so that it polishes nicely. And here I am just using a clear Juraforce top coat to coat this nail. And the finished look. This next nail is super cute. And this red is either Wildfire from the original collection or it is from the Naughty Nautical collection. There's a red in that one. I'll link all the colors in the description for you all so that you can take a look at them and do some comparison. And of course, these designs, you can do over really any color for Valentine's Day because not everybody likes red or pink. So be creative with your designs. This is one of my favorite designs. I absolutely love it. And onto the matte top coat. It does look a little discolored because I did initially put it on too thick, but the end result looked really good. And there's the end result.
and this red is from the fall collection which again I will link down below or this one might be from cocktail couture anyways I'll link all the colors down below And this color didn't actually cure properly in my LED lamp. I didn't have it in the exact right spot. So you'll see right away that I actually smeared the image. But again, easy fix when that happens. I'm just going to pat down the loose little pieces there. If you were doing this on a client's nails and you had some little wavy spots, you could use your cuticle stick to put them back in place. And then any excess, you can just use a stiff, um, either square brush or an angle brush with a little bit of acetone or polish remover and just take the polish off. So it does remove a little bit of the red just because, again, I hadn't cured this nail properly, but the end result still worked out really well. So I'm gonna go in with some more Zebra here. And just pat those loose ends down. And then I went in with this adorable shoe. Because really, let's face it, a pair of high heels, how is that not Valentine-y? And then I went in with my pearl top coat again, just to give it a little bit extra oomph. And there is the finished result. And there's all five. I love how these turned out. Thanks for watching my video today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. Bye.